Hi guys, me again. Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, that weight and mass are not related. Um, looking at the atom model, my own atom model, it's unique in its kind of course, since this is the only atom model complying with atomic weight, uh, number of orbiting electrons, I can even uh, tell which ones are the protons, which are the neutrons. Um, it complies with all material properties, height and bosom certainty, you name it. All data known to mankind can be explained using these models. For instance, the weight of these elements uh, is the same as the number of nucleons on the outside. So this tells us that gravity um, the gravitons, which are particles, they interact, have a mechanical interaction, and that interaction only happens on the outer shell, only happens with the outer shell of each atom. So, um, this um, brings us to something uh, funny. Um, a friend of mine told me, um, he liked my model, he said, but can you prove that this model is true and mainstream science is false. So can you prove this is the best model to date? The best representation of atoms? Well, it's the only representation of atoms since it's so complete, but can I prove it? Uh, yeah, I can. I can prove this is actually true and mainstream is wrong. Because we're going to look at a ball shape and those atoms look like balls. And when we look at the ball shape, this is purely mathematical. The bigger an atom becomes, this is what happens with the circumference. It's a linear to the diameter. The diameter increases, then there's a linear increase of the circumference. C is 2P times R, right? The surface is this blue graph shows the surface. So if the diameter increases the surface, doesn't increase linear, it increases, the surface increases exponential. A is 4p times r square. And the volume even increases r to the third. So this is what happens when an atom becomes bigger. Which means that um, when those atoms become bigger, bigger atoms have another relationship between weight and mass. I say uh, this is, represents weight, the surface of an atom represents weight, and the volume represents mass. Because in each atom, over here we see a blue, uh, the blue outer shield representing the outside nucleons, which make up for the weight. But within there are more nucleons, and they, those do not contribute to weight, since gravitons cannot penetrate the atom. So which means the, the relationship between weight and mass goes out of focus, goes pear-shaped. In my model, in the Van Kemmer model, and Newton, of course, says, well, weight and mass are related, so if you increase the weight of an atom, then the mass increases uh, the same. Weight and mass are, in fact, the same uh, to a lot of so-called scientists, a lot of people they think they're scientists, but they're not. They say, when you say mass and weight are the same, then you're not a scientist. They have a different name for a reason. And uh, the funny part is it's really, uh, there's really a very big difference between weight and mass. So how can I prove that my model, my camera model, is right? Well, not only by numbers, <laughs> because you've seen my videos. You've seen the numbers. You cannot fake that. It has to be the real thing. So it is a real thing. But still, some people think I'm crazy and this is all rubbish. And well, for those people, little experiment proving that mass and weight are not related. This is what I've done. I've created here a little pendulum, a weight scale, if you will, on a record player, top of a record player. And this is the same thing. Newton says F is M times G, F is M times A. And I say F is not M times G. F is M times A, fine. But you cannot measure weight, for measure mass using a scale. Weight and mass, two different things. Mass, you can only measure using centripetal force. 
and weight you can measure using a scale. Two different things. But according to Newton, 30 grams of lead and 30 grams of aluminum both have the same centripetal force. When I swing that thing around, they will create both the same centripetal force, leaving this pendulum in the middle. Now, why did I take uh, lead and aluminum? Lead, big atoms. This is about how big lead is. It's a huge atom, and which means there's a lot of uh, obscured um, nucleons in the center of it. Nucleons we cannot measure using a scale, since a scale only measures weight, which only means the outside shell, not the inner nucleons. So big atom, lead, that's this little stack here, lead atoms, big atoms, a lot of hidden nucleons. And this is much in that it's, it's about the same size as aluminum, aluminum, small atom, aluminum, a small atom, which means um, weight and mass are just about the same. No big difference. As you see here, of course, the same diagram. Small atoms, weight and mass, blue and, and yellow, blue and uh, green are almost the same. But with the bigger, when they become bigger, it goes pear shaped. You'll see there's going to be a lot of mass compared to its weight. So that's why I use aluminum and lead, the size, the very size of the atoms. If I'm right, if Newton is right, of course, Newton was right, 30 grams and 30 grams would create the same um, outgoing, the same centripetal forces. And I say no, I say lead has about twice the mass, 30 grams of lead has about twice the mass than 30 grams of aluminum. Now let that sink in for a while, it's, 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 it's a strange statement, isn't it? Because we're all brainwashed. They have always told us mass and weight are the same. But I say, no, no, no. I have 30 grams of lead and 30 grams of aluminum. And I say that when I swing this thing around, this lead will prove to have more than twice the mass of that aluminum. Um, you will see that when I swing this thing, you will see this lead moving outwards like this. Swing outwards. I've made a red marking here and a black marking on the aluminum side like i did here red at the lead side black at the aluminum side so you can see it better um high speed camera no problem um so when i'm right lead will always win and if newton is right nothing will happen so let's see who's right here Do, uh, are weight and mass related i say no they're not related when I swing it, I say this one will gonna move out way, outwards. Let's see. Well, this was a bit too slow. No problem. Brakes on. I can't use the the buttons. I can't use the motor inside. It's too slow. So I have to give the swing by hand. Right there, you go. Red. See the red coming out. You see the lead coming out. That's because lead has. It's both thirty grams, but lead has twice the mass, despite both being thirty grams. Again. I can do this a thousand times, the output will always be the same. In fact, from the moment I made this uh, contraption, I made this setup, from that moment on, every time lead won. And you might think, well, it's a bit of a crude setup, those are lucky shots, because uh, it can be the other way around too. No, don't worry, always, lead will always prevail, lead has more mass than aluminum, despite having the same weight. So, same big small lead will always prevail um, so if you want to measure weight use a scale like this if you want to use mass use a centrifuge um, to date you will not find any manufacturer creating a centrifuge scale now why not well the moment they try to calibrate a centrifuge scale they're gonna have a problem because if you calibrate uh, a centrifuge scale calibrated using the carbon, small carbon, aluminum, small atoms, the readout for lead will be double, will be wrong. And vice versa, if you calibrate it on the lead, then the readout for the small atoms will be wrong. You cannot create a weighing scale using centripetal force because weight and mass are not related. That's why you need a scale for weight 
centrifuge for mass. Now, this totally contradicts what Newton says. This is Newton's first law going down, at least for gravity. Newton was a smart man. I, I really respect Newton, but it's stupid to think that gravity and weight, that, that weight and mass are the same thing. It's idiot. You think uh, maybe it's, it's a crude setup. I agree, it's a crude setup. So, what I'm going to do? This is 30 grams. This is another 30 grams. You can see it because the scale, the pendulum hangs down the middle, straight down the middle. I can. I have a little scale here. I can prove it to you. It's both 30 grams, no problem. Um, yeah, just take one stack of it. Uh, take the aluminum. Okay. Up, boom, 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 boom. Now, well, there we go. 31. Well, fine. 31 grams aluminum. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna. Because I want to. I want you to convince yourself that this is indeed no trickery. No, no. That I'm not fooling you here. Uh, I respect you too much. Uh, if I fool people, people look straight through me. I, I cannot fool people. I cannot lie. When I lie, people laugh and say, "Ah, you're lying." You know, I lie. It's, it's not what I want to do. I'm not. I'm not, gonna, not even going to try to fool you. So I had these stacks of aluminum plates weighing in at 31 grams, and the stack of lead slabs. Well, now it's 92. It's a, you know, now it's 30, 30. Well, you, I had a, it's a cheap scale, maybe $5, I don't know, a cheap scale, but it's about 30 grams. But, and because of this crude scale, you know what? I'm gonna uh, deduct, I'm gonna favor Newton. I'm gonna favor Newton just by adding or deducting a few weights. Um, still centered, well, of course, and I, again, I, it doesn't matter, I can exchange these two stacks, same outcome, right? No, I, I did that, no problem. So, give them a bit faster, there you go, lead again, has twice the mass of aluminum, despite having the same weight. But now I'm going to say, well, two aluminum I'm going to take off, which you see it's now leaning towards aluminum. I'm going to give it a swirl. Again, lead will win. Of course it does, right? Because I took I took off how much? Oh, what do you say? Just switch it on the scale. Let's see how much they'll take away. Nine grams. I took off nine. That's 30% of the aluminum I took away. The same outcome. Um, then, uh, you know what? Now I'm going to take away a few slabs of lead. And you can see ex uh, immediately by the stance of the pendulum that I took some lead, weigh it in, same thing here, uh, see, 8 grams of lead, so again about 30% off, give it a swing, lead wins, it happens every time, it's not a lucky shot, it doesn't matter how often I do this, always you will see that lead has more mass compared to its weight than aluminum. This is a very clear demonstration that mass and weight are not related. And um, if you think that isn't big, this is huge. If you don't trust me, please repeat this uh, at your university or at work. Repeat this and convince yourself that mass and weight are not related. This thing also proves without a question of a doubt that my atom model, what I have shown, is the right model. It proves that it, it's a, the universe is a mechanical thing. It proves the size of the graviton being three angstroms. It proves everything. Well, not everything. I made a few mistakes down, down the line, but it, 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 it proves my, my model I have to date. Two years ago, I had uh, maybe some, some mistakes, but, but today, and, and, and I'm, I'm learning as I go, of course. So this simple proof that Newton is wrong also proves Einstein was wrong. Space-time is wrong. It's, time is not a dimension at all. It's just a mechanical interaction what happens with gravitons and, and, and spinning nucleons. That's all. Uh, so how big is this? This is world news. Well, it's news of the century. But uh, well, I'm going to present bigger news than this. You can count on that. But I think it's the biggest news today. It's, I don't think... It, consequences of that, that Newton was wrong, his first law was wrong.
that mass and weight are not related? How big is that? How big is it that one man on the planet, one single man, I'm not, uh, I don't belong to a university, I'm not linked to, 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 to CERN, I'm a volunteer, a volunteer with uh, handicapped people, but I can make atoms, lifelike atoms, which nobody else can. I know how they work, I know how a graphic works, I know how nucleons look like and how they attach and what the difference is between chemical and, 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 and nuclear relation, uh, connections. Everything in detail, I can explain that thing. That's fine enough, isn't it? I, I don't want to no. put myself on a pedestal, but really, if I don't do it, who will? Nobody believes in me, I can do this. I don't know where or when somebody will really say, oh, damn, I'm going to believe you. I have a few uh, dedicated and uh, loyal uh, subscribers, and I really thank you for that, for, for being subscribed. But this experiment, tell about this video, tell others about this, show it to other people. Say, hey, they are not related at all. It's bullshit. We've been looking in the wrong direction every time. Make them aware of my channel. Make them aware of my website. If you help me, I can help you. But this, this is just a small part of what I'm doing. And, I'm trying to, to, to map out the entire universe, the entire blueprint, including life and death and, and, and time travel and the whole thing. I'm working on all those things simultaneously. This is just a small part of it. And if this is true, it says a lot about the other things I'm working on, right? I can really do things. I can really help uh, the human species. I can make this world a better place. I can create heaven on earth here. If only people had faith in me. So please, tell your friends about this. Just or make this model yourself. Take your old record player and show how easy it is to prove Newton wrong. Show how easy it is to prove Einstein wrong. Man, we can save this world. We can really change this world into the most beautiful place ever. I can bring people back to the dead if you wish. But only if you have faith. Only if you have faith. Without faith, I'm nothing. So, I'm sorry about that. Love you guys. Uh, thanks for watching.